friends, I am back, and today I got a lesson where I'm going to show you how to take our Freaky Fast Flower Code and turn it into an adjustable flower code. So, let's get cracking. So, first things first, you need to enter Tinkercad and find our Code Blocks lesson. Remember, our Code Blocks are down the screen, and we've got the one called Flower MDH. I'm going to create a duplicate because I don't want to mess with that one. And then I'm going to launch the copy of Flower MDH, and I'm going to change its name to say Adjustable. Now, if yours looks different than mine, let me just show you what I did. I'm going to put this code down below for a second, speed it up to super fast. If we hit play, that was our old flower. But this morning, I came up with another plan where I added another cylinder. I made it a hole made its radius a little bit smaller, kept the scales the same except it made Z bigger, that way it poked out, and then when we ran it, it cut out the parts to make the flower a little bit cooler, which was for my laser cutter. But that leads me to where we are now, where I thought, what would it be like if we made this adjustable? So we've got radius, which is what determines the shape that we made. Let's just make a variable, and we'll call it R, and then let's drop R in the spots. Now we could type all the radius. As a matter of fact, I will not be lazy. I will type radius. And then I'm going to put the number 10 in there. And then I'm going to grab the variable radius and put it in the box. And then where this radius is, I'm going to just do some math. And right now I'm going to stick with radius, but I'm going to subtract. Uh, I'm going to try 3 just for giggles. Now reach underneath the math piece and then drop that where the old radius used to be. If we hit play, this will look a little bit different because now it did radius minus 3. We can change this by making it radius minus 5. And then just see how it changes. We can type a different number up here in one quick step, and boom, we get a totally different shape. Got to wait for it to group and jump up, but it just gives us instantly unique and different uh, flowers with very little effort. There are other places we can change. I'll let you fiddle with them, but I'm going to give you one easy one. So right here, we're going to change the pivot. So let's create another var variable, and we're going to rename it as X pivot, And then put a number in there. Right now it's 10. So I'm going to see what happens if I make the X pivot 15. Just make sure you remember to drop the X pivot variable in that location. Now when we hit play, it spreads them out further so that there's a bigger area between them. Let's try an X pivot of 20. This time they might not even be connected. Nope, they still are. And it also has a neat design in the middle. Let's make one variable called max. And we'll do one last piece of math where we decide how many petals we're going to have. I'm going to drop the next variable up on top and rename it max. And then we just did a max of 10. Let's try a max of 7. We need to take the variable max and put it where the old 10 was. And then also where we divided by that 10, we need to now divide by max. And now when we hit play, we have instantly created a 7 petal flower. Now notice these do not quite have the gap. That's where we can change our X pivot. I'm going to try making the X pivot 15 again. And let's see if that gives us a cooler gap. Wow. Totally different. And that's where it's kind of cool as you adjust and mess with your settings. So friends, there you have it. The almost instant adjustable flower. 
Have fun, explore, see what you can make. If you create something cool, make sure you share it with us at HL Montech on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. If you thought this was kind of fun, please hammer that like button. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. If you got a question or a comment, leave it down below and click the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Keep tinkering.